In this tutorial, I am looking at this question. Where can I start a side hustle? This guide walks you through some of the best side hustle ideas to help you create passive income online. So if you want to know how to start a side hustle and launch an online business to earn money online, keep watching. Hi, my name is Ashley. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so you get alerted about new videos. Please make sure you like the video because that tells me you like the content and I will then create more content for you. Thank you, let's begin. Idea number one monetize a YouTube channel. YouTube has more than 2 billion users who watch 250 million hours of videos every single day. Building an audience big enough to profit from YouTube ads takes a lot of time, which is why it's better to find a more direct connection to revenue than to wait for ads to become viable. Luckily, there are a ton of ways to make money on YouTube that go beyond paid ads. Here is a tip. Start by producing great content that resonates with your target audience. As you grow your following, consider making more money selling paid subscriptions subscriptions, producing merchandise to sell online or doing paid sponsorships. You can join the YouTube Partner Program. The first revenue stream you'll likely explore is ads. Whether you want to earn money on YouTube without creating videos or as a content creator, joining the YouTube Partner Program YPP and setting up monetization is a vital step. You'll have to agree to follow all of YouTube's monetization policies and live in a country or region where the YPP is available. Then you can apply for monetization once you hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours over the past year or 1,000 subscribers with 10 million valid public shorts views within the last 90 days. You can work with brands as an influencer. Brands are investing more and more in influencer marketing and sponsorships, spending their typically large advertising budgets on influencers who've already won the loyalty of their audiences. This creates a massive opportunity for you as a creator if you can negotiate the right deals. Depending on your leverage, your audience demographics, content quality and how unique and profitable your niche is. You might be able to negotiate a better deal if the brand is a good fit. The key when partnering on brand sponsored content is to be transparent about it, not endorsing anything you don't actually like or believe in, and being upfront with your audience about why you're doing it. Here are just a couple of the many influencer marketplaces you can add your channel to and get discovered by brands both big and small. CrowdTap, complete small content creation tasks in exchange for money and other rewards. There's no restrictions on how many followers you need to join. The next is Upfluence, a full-scale influencer platform with a database of over 3 million influencers. Clients can search through Upfluence to find creators by keyword and contact them to form a partnership. Some influencer marketplaces offer you free products while others are known for having big brands who are willing to pay more. Capitalize on the opportunities that best suit your needs, but list yourself in as many places as you can to ensure maximum visibility for your your channel. Understand your audience on YouTube. Building your own audience puts you in a great position to monetize content in a variety of ways, but you'll only be able to take full advantage of the opportunities you have if you understand the makeup of your audience. For many YouTubers looking to monetize, the more niche your channel, the better position you'll be in to work with brands looking to target specific audiences. You'll want to pay close attention to the gender of your audience to see if it skews toward one particular group, the age range most of your audience falls into, the geographic location, countries or cities where your videos are being watched, and your audience's overall engagement or watch time. With this demographic information at hand, you'll have a better understanding of your own audience and be able to work better with brands. All demographic insight can be pulled from your YouTube analytics, but to compare your own channel against others, Others, try a tool like Social Blade. Idea number two, sell digital products and programs. Digital products include any non-physical asset that exists in the digital world. These products are typically downloadable or streamable files like MP3s, PDFs, videos and templates. If you're a musician, music is always needed for movies and ad campaigns. If you're a graphic designer, websites are always looking for new fonts and graphics to make their site stand out. Digital products could include educational materials, audio files like stock sound effects or music, digital templates and more. Find a digital product to sell, whether you resell existing products or create your own. Digital products include music, fonts, Photoshop presets, courses or online services. Build an online store. Get up and running in a few hours. Pick from a catalogue of website templates. Populate your logo, copy and images and you're ready to get selling. 
Use an app to make selling easy. Some apps make delivery of digital products even easier. Browse the Shopify app store to find apps that plug into your store and do everything from hosting course content to delivering PDF purchases. Market your digital products. Find your customers where they are. If you're selling fonts or design templates, build an audience of designers and creators on the social platforms they use most. Consider influencer marketing, social ads, or lead magnets. A digital product is a intangible asset or piece of media that can be sold and distributed repeatedly online without the need to replenish inventory. These products often come in the form of downloadable or streamable digital files such as MP3s, PDFs, videos, plugins, and templates. Selling digital products has many advantages that make it uniquely attractive to entrepreneurs. Low overhead costs. You don't have to hold inventory or incur any shipping charges. High profit margins. There's no recurring costs of goods, so you retain the majority of your sales in profits. Calculate your profit margins ahead of time with a free tool. The potential to automate. Orders can be delivered instantly, letting you be relatively hands off with fulfillment. Flexible products products. You can offer free products to build your email list, monthly paid subscriptions for access to exclusive digital content, or licenses to use your digital products. You have a lot of options as to how you incorporate digital products into your business. E-learning is the future of education. You have a massive opportunity to expand your business and impact with e-learning, an industry expected to be worth $374 billion by 2026. If at any point you're looking for support and training in digital marketing, then I recommend you check out the Internet Business School website, the UK's leading internet marketing training provider. They offer a range of comprehensive courses covering all aspects of digital marketing. Just click the link in the description box below this video. Idea number three, become an IRL or online tutor. Teaching is one of the most rewarding opportunities and with online platforms like Cambly, Tutor Ocean, Preply and learn to be. It's easy for anyone to tutor students online. Some young entrepreneurs even start freelancing while in school. Services like tutoring and exam prep are so popular in universities among student freelancers that the test prep market is expected to grow at a rate of 6% annually until 2027. Here is a quick tip. Take your tutoring side gig to the next level and make more money by building your own online store and selling courses online. An online course is a heavy lift up front to create but can provide passive income over time. Determine your requirements. You need to find different and clear aspects, prerequisites, pros and cons of the online tutoring business before starting. Research and analyse different niches before facilitating your business plan. Thus you will have an explicit understanding of the industry and skills you want to deliver to learners. You might have the following questions striking on your mind before the planning. Who is your target audience? How will you persuade them to choose you above others? What's your unique selling proposition? How will you compete in the market with your competitors? Teaching online gives many opportunities for tutors, whether you are a professional teacher, subject matter expert, or even teen with good knowledge on a particular topic. The online tutors should have the teaching experience with a subject specific certification. This will help you to create a trust factor on students and parents. Know your audience. You need to evaluate your audience after doing market research about your customers' needs and requirements. Who are the students and people that need your help? In what area do they need help? Are they waiting for someone like you to help them? Determine the characteristics of the users based on their age, behavior, and location. Target these needs and wing it with your innovative ideas. Choose your subject topic. From your skills, choose topics that you will be comfortable teaching. Gather the lessons you want to cover for the students. Having an advanced degree or specialization in the topic will give you an additional advantage. It is essential to choose the area of expertise on a topic because you can share your core and constructive knowledge to enhance the student skills. Solidify your teaching methods by creating engaging topics through slides and interactive activities such as with book widgets in a fun environment. Gamify your course lessons, activities and use storytelling such as this fun book widgets example for Halloween to make the learning more engaging. This helps students focus while enjoying their studies. Choose a specific course pattern. After the in-depth analysis of characteristics of the audience, find the specific needs that match your skill so that you can improve and personalize more in the new course. 
Determine the category of courses like video courses, written format courses according to your requirements of online tutoring. Look at online tutoring platforms for tutoring that facilitate classes by video conferencing, whiteboards and text chat messages. Idea number four, deliver packages. Anyone with time and access to a vehicle can now sign up to deliver packages through Amazon Flex. Amazon Flex is a great way to earn extra income in your spare time. Work schedule is flexible. Drivers simply sign up for a block of time and receive as many or as few delivery assignments as they have time for. Idea number five, start a podcast. Podcasting like social media and blogging has become a staple of the broader world of online content. In fact, podcasts have been growing more popular each year since their creation. Podcasting is comparatively cheap too. A decent USB microphone sold specifically for podcasting can be purchased for less than $100 and recording platforms like Audacity are free and easy to use. Choose a podcast topic you can commit to. It's easy to get hyped up about an opportunity like podcasting however i've seen it many times before if you don't plan ahead you're going to be stuck podcasting takes some work so you're going to want to make sure you spend adequate time up front to make sure you choose a topic that excites you something that has more than three episodes worth in your head something that will keep you going for the long run pick your podcast name the title of your podcast is one of the first things people see even before they listen to a single word of your show so naturally this is a really important decision all this this info goes into your podcast host when you set up your show there and you can always change everything related to your show. People change their title, description and artwork all of the time. I understand if you're feeling a little hesitant about nailing down a show title and moving forward. It defines your branding, your artwork, what you say, how you share it and many many more things. Idea number six, offer digital marketing services. With the number of online businesses out there, there's always a need for freelancers with specific skills to help founders create content, run social channels, optimize a website and more. Provide clarity on your offer. Most people confuse SEO services with online marketing. However, that's not the truth. SEO is also a subset of digital marketing. SEO tactics are employed to optimize content to rank higher on search engines and increase your website's visibility. Digital marketing has different streams, some of which are as follows. SEO, social media marketing, pay-per-click marketing, email marketing, content marketing, marketing analytics, mobile marketing, in-game marketing, influencer marketing, video marketing and affiliate marketing. The greatest benefit of digital marketing is that it easily scales, is engaging and is cost effective. Know your target customers. Every industry has a different set of challenges and market trends. They have different needs, so they prefer an agency that understands their pain points, bottlenecks and requirements. Similarly, an agency should do a SWOT, which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats analysis and choose its niche accordingly. Also, when you understand your client's business, you can serve them better and achieve better results using specific tactics. Here is a pro tip. As a young agency, focus on just one niche and specialise in it. For example, you can promote yourself as a digital marketing agency for dentists or educational institutions. When you start getting good results for your clients, you will get numerous client referrals. Advertise your services online through a gig or freelance sites and set up a basic website with a portfolio of your work. You can make more money by creating an online course and selling it as a digital product to people who want to learn your skills. Thank you for watching and don't forget to tell me in the comments section below the video which idea from this video you are going to use first. I'd be interested to hear from you. So the next thing to do, if you want to accelerate your learning even further and develop your digital skills, make sure you go and click the link under the video now and visit the Internet Business School website, the UK's leading internet marketing training provider. They offer a range of comprehensive courses covering all aspects of digital marketing. They will give you all the training, skills and knowledge you need to create a profitable online business. If you are interested in that, which I hope you are, just click the link in the description box under the video and take a look at it. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and please like the video. Just click the subscribe button below this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video below and I will follow up with you. Thanks for watching.